Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Emma. And this may be the last time that we're playing Dragon Age 2. I don't know exactly how far we have left to go, but I don't think it's too terribly much. Okay, it's just the music. It's usually like something's happened noises. Oh, well, I can't get that. I'm not a rogue. So, what happened to TLDR? Anders blew up the Chantry in a show of desperation, I personally feel like. Um, before, before anybody fights on this, make sure that you go and read all the comments from the last video, because we as a community took a lot of time to discuss the moral and ethical implications of what happened. So let's try to save, oh my God, Anders, blah, blah stuff for previous episode. Go ahead and read those. If you still have a question for me, then shoot. Otherwise, I'm just going to refer you to the previous episode. Okay, so we have sided with the mages. Uh, Meredith has called for the right of annulment, which means that every mage has to be like exterminated like an animal, even though the mages had absolutely nothing to do with uh, what Anders did. So, we're here with Racino, and I don't know exactly what's going to happen next. We're just trying to survive. So, let's get this started. Are you prepared, champion? I believe the battle is almost upon us. You don't believe there's a chance of winning this fight? With you on our side? Perhaps. But, even if we win, what then? More Templars would come, with even larger armies. We are apostates now. Our only hope lies in the circles elsewhere in Thedas. They could rise up with us against this injustice. I assure you, however, we will find sympathy nowhere else. Let's do it. We will defend you as best we can. I am relieved to hear it. You will need to give orders to your companions, and I will do the same for my people. I should have trusted you. Even with all we've shared, I never thought you'd spare my life. If we live through this, you know I'll be hunted. No one in Kirkwall will offer me mercy. But if you would join me, I'd rather be on the run with you than safe with anyone else. Oh, man. Then we will be fugitives together. We will fight for a world where our children can be born mages and free. Ten years, a hundred years from now, someone like me will love someone like you. And there will be no Templars to tear them apart. May the Maker bring us victory, or everything else is meaningless. I will always love you. That was so fucking sweet. I know there are some people who are rage quitting already, and that's fine. You can play your playthrough the way you want to play it. <sighs> I've seen so much fan art and fan fiction about Hark escaping with Anders and what their lives are like afterwards. And this has always been the path for my Hawk. So. Yeah, we can't pick Fenris. I feel like these are, our, are going to be our closest companions. The ones dearest to Hawk's heart. I want to help as well, even if I'm not fighting at your side. Meryl, attack from a distance. Stay out of the fight as much as you can. I will. Aveline, charge in whenever you see an opening. Very well. Isabella, I want you to fight from stealth. Keep them confused. <laughs> Sounds like fun. We're cornered. The Templars know it. You know it. But this is bigger than their hate. Their fear. They've come to take your lives. And we are saying no. We didn't want this. But sometimes... Sometimes you just have to stand. Champion, it is beginning. Thank <laughs> you. 
Jesus Christ. All right, all right, all right, all right. Good, he's when we have selected. Okay, got our next wave. Oh, none of my AoE stuff's really up yet. Because we can keep them. Oh, please, why do you gotta get so close? Get it all. Why don't they just drown us as infants? Why wait? Why give us the illusion of hope? I refuse to keep running. I won't wait for her to kill me. Um. I don't know. I don't know if he needs to calm down. I know I say that a lot, especially as of late, because um, it's just like one of my phrases lately. I've noticed that in yikes and big barrel of insert word here. Um, but I don't know. Uh, sometimes I like the angry options as, as Mage Hawk because this is such an enormous injustice that sometimes you do need to stand up and get angry about stuff. Somebody has to, to cite Halsey's song, Nightmare. I'm tired and angry, but somebody should be. Meredith will die long before you do. If only I could believe that. Quentin's research was too evil, too dangerous, so I put it aside. But I see now there is no other way. What do you mean? What do you mean? Meredith expects blood magic, then I will give it to her. Orsino, no. Orsino, no. We had this under control. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, uh, it is a very precarious situation that we're in, but this didn't need to happen. I, again, want to draw attention to the fact that the only time just about, because I can't know every single time it occurs, but every instance of this that we see in the game, every abomination is because some Templar is trying to kill a mage typically unjustly <sighs> why god damn it can I not have that where I want it lead him just a little bit Nobody gets to stand up. Oh, I don't know what that is, but I guess we should... Orsino, why? Why? I'm so sad and disappointed and... Okay, so... Oh, gross. Uh, 
Ugh. Sorry, I started to jump. Because that's what I do. God, I can't wait for Inquisition where we can jump. <laughs> Last one. Uh, this doesn't feel like a victory to me at all. What? How? I'm watching health, but we're doing pretty okay. I do love that that's an instant cast. No casting for you. Eric, now's not the time. We have another horror? I don't see one. I guess I'll take my guy over here in the corner. Like, I knew that this episode was going to be weighty, but I didn't expect it to be so depressing. I guess how could this conflict not be depressing? I just didn't expect it from Orsino. At least our mana is, like, either refreshing or, or something. Yeah, let's not... That's a whole big barrel of no. No. No, please don't do that. Move. Oh. There we go. Is this help? Oh, stop. Stop doing things. Okay, now we have adds two. We just have the one. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna stay on the boss. Leave Anders alone. Almost out of mana too, but we're almost done. Get moving before more Templars arrive. <sighs> Fucking depressing. I mean, I, I get that war and genocide and like all that shit is is never fun and it's never pleasant but I I didn't expect Ursino to do that oops that's not what I want I just wanna you want me to do what I don't think so sorry for a lack of commentary I'm just This is 
a weighty, weighty subject. Let's get a look at what we're dealing with. I wonder if this is the end. Because with Orsino gone now, we just have to deal with Meredith, right? I wonder... I assume you have to kill him if you side with... Uh, if you side with the Templars. But do you kill Meredith first in that iteration? Oh, this is another one? Oh shit. I'm trying to tap target. Oh my god, I can't target anything. This is the worst. Where do I go? I don't even know. So many desperate mages. Oh, Sandal, sweetheart, what are you doing here? Hey, jump, mate. Why are you here? I mean, I don't need to sell anything. I guess it's for people who do. Ugh. Anders is absolutely right. This is a dead end. So let's go here first. Are you guys okay? Oh! God, it scared the shit out of me. Can we not? I do love my new ability, so. Stop that. Stop casting. It doesn't help that um, the veil is especially thin here, as somebody pointed out last episode, which I really appreciate. I love when you guys contribute all those extra tidbits to help me get a better lay of the land, so to speak. I love the lore tidbits so much. Yes, yes, I know everyone needs to level up, but I'm like, we're about to finish the game, right? I don't really care about that. Okay, first of all, can you please back up? Why are they like, why do they have those blue pools around them? Let me do one of these. Yeah, I didn't think I'd get all of them, but that's close enough. Please don't stand up. Where are my companions? Okay. So let's get one of these. We can't come back to Kirkwall anyways. Speaking of running away with Anders again. Oh, buddy. I feel like it's all just too polarized at this point. But God, like, the destabilization of the entire city because of just everything that's going on is just... I don't want to use that one. Let's see. Uh, Baby Brother's okay for the moment. No, stop that. Okay, who else needs to be bumped around? He's got two over there. Three. There we go. Oh, ow. Oh, I need mana. That's why. Now let's get a heal for baby brother. There you go, honey. That was one of these. We've got a few behind that I can help with. This hunter is just... He's not dead. Where is he? Get out. <sighs> it 
If Elfina had taken action, none of this would have had to... None of this would have gotten this bad. It's her passivity that so heavenly contributed to this outcome. If not just directly caused it. Oh, hey-ho. Hold on, hold on. Let me get everything set up for you guys. I feel like I only got a few of them in that. It's AoE, AoE. Hey, AoE. Why aren't you AoE? Okay, okay. Hold on. Oh, I didn't lead them enough. I was belated, but whatever. That was super belated, unless somebody else used a force ability. Okay, hold on, hold on. Where's Cullen in all of this? Clearly he's not right here, otherwise he'd be very dead, but... Do you see him ever? Okay, I'm taking... Actually, let's... I love all of my force abilities. They're just so handy for CC. No. Not me. Look at them. Backed into a corner, they show their true colors. Why you're defending them, I'll never know. This is an old story that always ends the same way. I think this is going to resonate with him much more. I, I hope, at least. Why should it surprise you? I'm no different than them. Wish I'd realized that when we first met. Oh my god. You die or I die. Either way, the story's done. Oh. Fenris, are you for real? He's so blinded by his hatred. He can't see the perfect allegory that's right in front of him. God, I hate this. Why? This is like one of the worst parts in the whole game. I don't want to kill him at all. I'm sorry. I guess this is just an example of how divisive the argument of civil rights can be. One person's like, you're not a living, breathing human being deserving of respect and equality and freedom. And the other half's like, well, yeah, you are. And, like, how do you bridge that? I guess the illustration here is that you don't. And that's really, really sad. Sometimes you just can't make people care about others. Oh, god damn. I'm sorry, this is such a depressing episode. But I mean, the subject matter is so weighty, how could it not be? And here we are, champion. At long last. You are a monster. You'll pay for what you've done here. I will be rewarded for what I've done here. In this world and the next. Gross. I have done nothing but perform my duty. What happens to you now is your own doing. You were never part of this circle, and I tolerated that. But in defending them, you've chosen to share their fate. Knight Commander, I thought we intended to arrest the champion. You will do as I command, Cullen. No. I defended you when Thrask started whispering you were mad. But this is too far. It's been too far! I will not allow insubordination! 
We must stay true to our path. Andraste's dimpled butt cheeks. <laughs> you recognize it, do you not? Your lyrium, taken from the deep roads. The dwarf charged a great deal for his prize. The idol poisoned Bartran's mind in the end. He was weak. Whereas I am not. All of you! I want her dead! Enough! This is not what the Order stands for. Knight Commander, step down. I relieve you of your command. I don't think he could do that, can he? My own Knight Captain falls prey to the influence of blood magic. Jesus Christ. You all have. You're all weak. Allowing the mages to control your minds. To turn you against me. But I don't need any of you. I will protect this city myself. You'll have to go through me. Idiot boy. Just like all the others. She's lost it. Just like Bartrand. Blessed are those who stand before the corrupt and the wicked. And do not falter! Oh, she's right here. Is this Colin's redemption arc? Because he stood by and was pretty hateful and passive to all of this until the very last second. Oh, yikes. It's so satisfying to defeat her with magic. Did you leave him alone? Oh. Maker, your servant begs you for the strength to defeat this evil. <laughs> what the fuck? Can Red Lyrium do that? Isn't this just a form of magic? Well, this just got super fucky. I can't even target yet. There we go. Yeah, CC. Now what? More Meredith? Lady, you were like... My CC doesn't work particularly well, but I am going to get out of melee range. Ugh. The, ca the camera is shaking like that is just like, but I guess that's the point. All right, let's take care of this big boy. There we go. Oh. What just healed us all up? Oh, what? Oh, I really hate that. I really hate that. Ow, fucking. I do not like the way those move. Please let me go. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Need some lyrium. I'm going to focus on the ads so they can focus on Meredith. Oh my god. I hate everything about the way those statues move. Uh, no. 
Please stop. <laughs> Is that a Meredith statue? Oh, fuck me. Don't, no, don't, stop. Stop. I need to move, I need to move. I'm trying to tab target on like default. I'm so used to WoW. It looks like we're almost out of statues though. So let's get one down. We're doing pretty okay. Oh god. Ugh. This is just a clusterfuck. Can I do this? No, you guys don't care. Meredith, calm down. Not enough that they make innocent suffer. No. What? We must also have insult added to injury. What the fuck are you talking about? Give them freedom, and they will use it to tear down everything we hold dear. No, no, it cannot be allowed. Like you've I done to the mages, lady? Do you hear me, champion? I will defeat you. No. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry at all. You're an atrocious human being. You're a despot and a bigot, and you are the worst kind of person. God, how many more of these things? Maybe we should focus Meredith. Get up, baby, get up. I mean... Please tell me what I must do. What if I'm not doing the right thing? What if this is all madness? No, I must remain vigilant. Why would you defend these mages? They are an infection upon all humanity. God, she's so crazy. I will not be defeated. Are you for real? Is that the idol from? The D4 trailer? Dragon Age 4? Word of the slaughter spread quickly. The champion's name became a rallying cry, a reminder that the mighty Templars could be defied. She had defended the mages against a brutal injustice, and many lived to tell the tale. The circles rose up and set the world on fire. More Templars arrived at Kirkwall to restore order, but we were already long gone. We vanished into the hills, and circumstance eventually forced us all to leave the Champion's side. Well, all of us except for Anders. You still hear the stories, of course. With each telling they grow, even if at the core remains the truth. The legend had been So that's it. That's the whole story. Then Meredith provoked the circle. She was to blame. Or that damned idol was. Or Anders. Take your pick. Even so, had the champion not been there... It might never have even gone that far. I see. 
So how is hearing all this going to help? You've already lost all the circles. In fact, haven't the Templars rebelled as well? I thought you decided to abandon the Chantry to hunt the mages. Not all of us desire war, Varric. Please, if you know where the champion is, you must tell me. She is a hero. A woman that the mages would listen to. Someone who was there at the beginning. The champion could stop this madness before it's too late. She may be the only one who can. Is that what this is all about? In that case, I wish I could help you. Just tell me one thing, then. Is the champion dead? Though, I doubt that. Then you are free to go, Varric. May the Maker watch over you during the dark times ahead of us. Same to you, Seeker. Same to you. So, did you... Gone. Just like the Warden. That is no coincidence. So, do we proceed with the original plan? Or keep looking? It is in the Maker's hands now. We put our faith in him. That was so good. I... There were a lot of parts in it that I was frustrated. Um, the writing was a little lacking towards the end of the game as far as your own faction reacting to you. Um, I don't think I ever picked anything that wasn't completely supportive of the mages, and yet still there was a lot of conflict with mages that I feel like shouldn't have happened. But I enjoyed this ending because it ties some it ties some connectivity together as far as Inquisition is concerned. And it makes a lot more sense to me because I was always like, why is Cassandra obsessed with Hawk? But it makes sense now and explains that. And I like how it kind of like leads into... I'm assuming that that book is like the tome that... God, who was it? It's not Justinia. Was it Justinia? Or somebody, one of the divines, authorized the Inquisition. I feel like that's what that is. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so in a way, it is kind of cool to have played Inquisition and then to come back. Because I, I catch things like that, whereas you wouldn't have known what it was if you hadn't played Inquisition yet. But... Wow. I can't... I can't believe we're done in addition, it's it's been such a journey. I'm really excited to play Inquisition, but this was the last episode of Dragon Age that's completely new to me. Now, there are going to be aspects of Inquisition that are fresh because I hadn't played the games beforehand. And so I'm going to be picking up on a lot of things that I wasn't aware of before. There are going to be a lot of Easter eggs I'm going to catch, some references. And it's going to be a new experience in its way. Um, and so I'm very excited about that. But I'm also sad to have the novelty of these previous two games come to a conclusion. Now, I think as far as headcanon goes... It's just Hawk off into the sunset with Anders and getting a new cat, helping mages where they can and other places. Now, doesn't, doesn't a sunder take place between DA2 and DA3? Which I have read. Because that's part of... Yeah, I 
I think so. Because it should be happening about the same, or a little after the time, because that's when the Orlesian Circle dissolves, if I'm correct. It's been a while since I've read it. I haven't finished The Masked Empire because the bigotry gets me, and I just cannot. I can't get through the toxic relationship between Brella and Celine. I just, like, get angry, and I just don't listen to it. But damn. Thank you guys so much for sitting through this experience with me. Dragon Age as a franchise is one of the best, most fleshed out, most wonderful lore sets that I've had the pleasure to play. And thank you for sharing in that with me, for helping me along the way, for filling in some bits and pieces of lore for me to help make my experience better, and just generally cheering me on. <laughs> I really appreciate it. And I'm glad to have shared in this with you too. So I'm going to let the credits continue to play out. And if there's anything at the end, we'll get to have one last bit of that experience together. Well, clearly there was nothing at the end credits. So once again, thank you guys so much for sticking through this adventure with me. It really has been just that, an adventure with its ups and its downs. And I appreciate the fact that you guys have literally stuck here with me through all of it. Thank you. It's been a lot of fun. And probably one of the most rewarding Let's Plays I'll ever make. Uh, the Dragon Age fandom is wonderful. And I've really enjoyed getting to know a lot of you diehard Dragon Age fans. So, um, I think what I'm going to do next... It's, it's start Inquisition. We'll do that. I don't know when. Um, I start my new position this Monday, so I'm not quite sure how much time I'm going to have to record. And I'm really busy this weekend. Uh, I want to try to get a shoot of my Lavellan in before we start recording so I can use it in the thumbnails. So we'll see. We'll see how soon I get it out. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share this with you, too. I always forget to say that, but this is just its so much fun, and you guys make it fun. Like, I can be playing video games by myself, and it's whatever, but sharing the experience is what makes this fun. So, I hope that y'all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you next time.